But first, there are so many different beauty products out there to help us look our best. It can often be overwhelming, especially when you just go to the drugstore. Too many things to choose from. And not all beauty gear is created equal. So we have beauty expert Rebecca George here. She's going to break down the products that you should purchase or just pass on. And some of these might surprise you. Surprised me. Welcome back, Rebecca. Hi there. Good to see you again and, and really to get your philosophy on some of these products here. When we're talking about facial cleansers and toners. A, you hear so many things about what we should be using, what we shouldn't be using, and then for your skin type. What would you say in terms of the facial cleansers that we should buy and what should we, should we pass on it? Well, can you believe I'm going to say you don't need every product out there? It's kind of a surprise. <laughs> right? I can't believe I'm saying that, but you really, really don't. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think they need a toner, but the truth is you don't because a toner can actually cause your oil glands to pump out more oil because they dry out your skin and that's going to increase acne and make you look greasy. Is that if you use a certain type of a toner? Because I was always told that you use a toner to help even out your skin. That's, that's what I thought. what right? you think, but the reality is they literally dry out your oil glands and that causes them to pump out more oil sort of works backwards. So if you do want to use a toner, I suggest only using it if you have very oily skin and spot treat. We're generally most oily in our T-zone, mm -hmm. so just apply it in those areas. And you might just want to use it in certain times of the year, like okay. in the summer. Or a gentle toner, is that? Look, I keep pushing for it. You, is it okay to use a gentle toner? If you're a toner toner? girl, go for the okay. gentle one. Go for the gentle <laughs> but one. But overall, you're saying it's not something that it's, you have to buy. It's not a must, so okay. you can pass it. Facial cleansers. I would think yes. that you would say you have to buy a facial cleanser. Right? That is right. You definitely okay. need to buy a facial cleanser. Clean I your say face. <laughs> skip the bar soap. The reason is bar soap can be very drying. Cleansers are literally geared towards your skin type. So if you have dry skin, if you're acne prone, you really want to look for one that caters to your skin's needs. Mm -hmm. And it's so important to get rid of the grime at the end of the day and to wash your face. Okay. especially at night. So look for a cleanser specific to, towards your skin's needs. So that's a purchase. That gotcha. is a must. It's a must. Okay, now we're going to move over to the night creams. Now, right. we had this discussion in the makeup room this morning because I will tend to use night creams during the day. And they oh. work very, very well. I don't care. I just kind of break the rules here and there. You're breaking the rules. But are you supposed to buy a night cream or is it something that you can pass on? It is a must okay. and it should only be used at night. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Only be used at night. But look, I have no blemishes <laughs> yet. Not yet. You but wanna, I understand. Why. Yes. Yeah. You want to use a lotion with an SPF during the day. Mm -hmm. Now at night, the reason why you only want to use it at night, I'm going to convert you. It, it repairs. I know. It repairs. <laughs> and a lot of ingredients in night creams are not meant to be used during the day when the sun is out like vitamin A. And the uh, other reason at night they work best is because you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. So that's when your skin is repairing itself. It's not competing with the sun. So right. ingredients like peptides and vitamin A, retinols, they're able to really get in there and do their job. Well, maybe that's why it works well, because I'm half asleep half the time I'm up here. So <laughs> exactly. that's why it's just soaking right <laughs> on in there. Okay, so now we've got that down, Pat, the eye creams. Okay. Okay, and you tell me what you, you think first, and then I'll tell you what other people are saying. Should okay. we purchase or pass on the eye creams? You can actually pass. Really? Surprising, right? Okay, okay. So we do yeah. not need anything under the eyes? You do need something under the eyes, but generally your night cream can do the trick. So oh. your night cream, because it contains those anti-aging ingredients like the peptides and the retinol, you can definitely apply it around your eyes. But if you have very sensitive skin, just stick with a moisture, an eye cream that is geared towards sensitive skin because okay. a peptide or a retinol might be too much for under the skin around your eyes. Mm -hmm. So you want to just apply your eye cream, your your night cream up to that point. Up to that point. Yes, that's exactly. Okay. Now someone else I was talking to, I won't say who, but they said <laughs> that, that the eye cream, if it's that good for under your eyes and it's that sensitive, they use it on other All parts over their of their face. face. Is right. that okay to do? You technically could do that, but it's going to cost you more money. And you, mm -hmm. of course, eye creams usually come in a little jar. So I say look for the night cream because most okay. brands have equal counterpart night cream versus eye cream. Look at you, Rebecca. Just a wealth of information. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move on now okay. over to the, the makeup primers. Makeup. And we obviously wear makeup all the time here on the show. We do? Yeah. Yeah. Just, just a little just bit. Just a little bit. But it goes on so well when you do use a primer. For average, everyday folks who are not necessarily putting on a lot of makeup, is this a purchase or a pass? I say purchase okay it may seem like an extra step but primers really do their job and they help cut down on time and money why because they work like double stick tape that's what I like to think oh, of them hello. As. that's why we love it so, so much. they help your makeup <laughs> stay on yeah. but they also really smooth out your skin they get rid of those lines they get rid of the crinkles they hide acne so you can really get away with wearing less makeup okay now something you can't get away from is cellulite unfortunately oh, I but know. this is one that we've all been waiting for the cellulite cream that are out there. There's a million of them out there. I know. Purchase or pass? They sound so promising, but mm -hmm. I have to say, pass. Okay. The reason is they're more 
they're more hope than they really actually can mm -hmm. offer. And cellulite creams, they can help to moisturize your skin, which slightly, slightly softens the appearance of cellulite, but no more than a regular body moisturizer can do. So maybe we should just put some eye cream on the cellulite and I then that'll work. I think head-to-toe eye cream. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's if it the works solution. for the eyes, you never know. Thank you very much, Rebecca. Thank you. Good to have you back. I promise I'll wear it just during an evening. Just during the day. Yeah, just during the day. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be right back.